you got to know. Even I had to know that everything I do wasn't protecting me. It's looking pretty good, but I still have a little bit of plaque in the artery. Can you imagine with my vital signs, that of an infant, and I still have some plaque in the artery. But as the doc said, imagine it would guaranteed be worse. That's the bottom line. I'm Dr. Thomas O'Connor, a lifelong powerlifter, board certified physician, and published academic author. I've taken care of thousands of men on testosterone and steroids, and now I use my media appearances in this YouTube channel to provide education and harm reduction. Subscribe now so I can help you stay strong and healthy. On a CT calcium score, I was able to show that the calcification score has gone down by almost 20%. But we know that could be wrong. But do I have any residual soft plaque in my coronary arteries? That's why we're checking today. And this technology now allows us to find out safely. This is what it's all about. You've got to know. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a scuba diver. So as soon as it's well, take a deep this. breath in, hold it. And then it's going to scan within two seconds. There's some calcification right here. Another set here. This is on the LED. Let's go, guys. Don't blow this off. Calcium score is kind of in the past. This is the scan. If you want to look inside your heart like I do, and you want to stay strong and healthy, this is the test you need to get. Yeah, so this is a state-of-the-art machine. It's actually the only one we have now in the outpatient setting. This is usually only used in big academic institutions. So it's 640 slice CT. So what does 640 slice mean? That means in one spin, we get 640 slices of the heart. So we do your entire heart in one spin and it spins in a quarter of a second. So we sp it spins so fast, we capture your heart with minimum amount of radiation because it does it in one spin. So you got your soft plaque, you got your calcified plaque, and then the dangerous one, which is the low density plaque. That's the one that can easily break off at any moment. And we've been finding in about 15% of patients have zero calcium score, but then end up having soft plaque and low density plaque and they're not converting to calcified plaque and that's even more dangerous for certain wow, patients. Right. In the old day, 20 years ago, I had my first 2005, literally 20 years ago, a CT scan, a lot of radiation and contrast dye. I don't want to go back for that, right? So that's why you go for the calcium scores. And we're going to talk about the cardiologist today and look inside my arteries, guys. Yeah. However, tell us the technology. How much radiation less is it? And what are we looking at for the percent of contrast dye reduction? Yeah, so in general, the average patient gets about 40 to 50% less contrast than on a regular CT machine. And the radiation, you're getting 70 to 80% less radiation. It's not like a regular CT where it's gonna spin maybe six, eight, 10 wow. times, hitting you with radiation more times than what you need. So once we get all those three plaque measurements, we'll show you with the cardiologist on his monitors and we'll see the 3D mapping of the heart that we get to do using the Clearly software technology. Love it. What Clearly does here is it, it measures all three plaques. So red is low density, the most dangerous plaque. Non-calcified is the yellow plaque, which is the soft. As you can see, he's got some soft plaque here in the yellow areas. And then you get to the blue plaque and the blue is calcium. So when you do a calcium score, you're only seeing the blue. You can't see the yellow and you can't see the red, which is the more dangerous one. And then as you can see here, you got this great 3D map going on where we can spin the heart around and we can check all the different arteries. And this is what's most important now because we can measure this in plaque volume to millimeters cubed. So when Dr. O'Connor comes back in say three years and he rechecks himself, now we can really measure and have exact measurements in millimeters cubed. I'm, saying this, I'm 61 and I'm showing guys you could have this, but now hold on. Repatha, metformin, vasipa, two blood pressure medicines. I mean, I'm walking, no one probably in the world has ever gone to this extent with biohacking. Well, you may be ahead of the curve because the da new data is going there. Right, 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 yeah, I know that. That's the, that's, the, that's the big thing, especially now that we're talking about AI analysis of plaque. We have uh, the, the news, it's not in the guidelines yet, but that's where it's heading right, to. Right, right, no, I'm, a, I'm ahead of that. So. But if I feel good, 
I, I don't have, you know, the brain makes its own cholesterol. So my systemic cholesterol doesn't cross the blood brain barrier. My brain is good. My sex is great and I'm strong. So why wouldn't you do this? But has it translated to prevention here? But what people don't consider is the, the genetic component. But I'm so, taking so much risk reduction. But listen, the, the good news is this. If you wouldn't be doing this, be who knows <laughs> what that would be? I have young kids, I call them kids in their early 40s. They come muscular, yeah. they're at the gym, Steroid. and then I do this, and they're a disaster. Ooh. This is the real thing. You cannot avoid denying this. It's better to know because this is not cancer. It's treatable. Right. It's controllable. But, but, but the, we, the bottom line is not to get there if we can. But this is aggressive medical management like they talk about. Absolutely. I've done it for years. Absolutely. You're dealing with something that you're controlling the best that you can. And probably you're going to get away with it because I doubt if this keeps going on, it's going to reach the point that it's going to give you trouble. Wow. Wow. So most likely you're doing the right thing, which is called prevention. That's, that's what everybody should listen to this. Wow. CTA is something now that's allow, not going to allow heart attacks to happen. I know. You bring an in incredible point here that no, not too many people want to touch on that. And it's the fact that you may do your cholesterol and have an LDL of 140, 150, and we do a calcium score, it's totally normal. I know. Like in those cases where, where the, the calcium score could be negative and the elevated uh, cholesterol, it's like you said, cholesterol then does not become a biggest target right. for you. All the other measures still hold because that could lead to elevated right. cholesterol, plaque buildup on the future, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I don't like the approach either that somebody gets treated aggressively for cholesterol having no plaque. No, you need an anatomical diagnosis. <laughs> Absolutely. Especially if they're young, you cannot commit somebody to I... that amount of therapy without any evidence. And the Why wouldn't you just look... And Correct. if you have a, if you're, if you're in your forties, you put your foot forward to some degree and you have completely clean coronaries and your LDL is what it is with your family history. You don't smoke, drink, all these things. You tr forget the steroids guys, maybe a little testosterone. And then you say, all right, well, what is your goal for your LDL? I do this every day. And now you don't have to use a statin. I mean, PCSK nines are brilliant. Yeah. It seems like doctors don't even know about these drugs. Yeah. It's so to me, it's something that needs to be personalized. Everybody is different. I think when genetic comes again, you know, some people with high cholesterol genetically do not build up. Plaque. They don't produce atherosclerosis. We know that. <laughs> this is the LED. Right. There. Yeah, yeah. The yellow. Yeah. Okay. Now, this vessel here is the LED, and now I'm cross-cutting okay. the whole yeah. thing. But in order to do that, they straighten it. It's called oh, a reform. I was wondering. Yeah, okay. they restrain, just just artificially straighten okay. it. Up. So this is cut right through the lumen, like just right. Exactly right. So we're looking. Exactly. Wow. So yeah, so let's go, Doc. Keep going. Uh, now, this is what I want you to understand. This cross-sectional, my right, it's slicing every piece of the, right. of, the of the LED, okay? As I'm entering the LED, the computer sees some mild non-calcified plaque that it's not even in the lumen, okay? So it's producing no... It's stimulus. outside, but how does that work, Doc? Where does it plaque come from? It's, it's the initial deposit. Of but the, how can of it not the, be it, in the lumen? It's called positive remodeling. The plaque grows first in the outside. That's why people don't have any symptoms. Right. It's called positive remodeling. Only in later stages, it encroaches into the lumen and produces stenosis limiting the flow. So that is why people, and this is something that you can relate to, they go and have a heart attack and they do an angiogram and they only have 40% of stenosis. How would that be possible? Because the disease is in the wall of the vessel growing, getting to be dangerous if you don't take the medications. Right. With, Stabilize. With, with a lot of non-calcified plaque and low-density plaque. That's something that we're going to see also that this doesn't exist here. I don't think so. No low density. No low density. I have no low density. Yeah. Before it gets calcified, it is non-calcified plaque. You're telling me your cholesterol is so low. How can I have still non-calcified plaque? Yeah. And let me tell you, I hear you, and I cannot provide an answer. But the answer that I can give you is this. I don't see what this technology is seeing. So, so you're saying 
Th this is the this is the center. It's wide open, but this area here is where all this is calcified. And it maybe if you just did a, if you drew around here, you could see that it's it's occluding yes. twenty or thirty percent. Yes, the lumen is probably going right, right, like right, this. right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you visualized it this very well. This is very important. I mean, not everybody can do yeah, that. Yeah, I could see it now because it's a cut like this. Right. Yeah. It's like you have a street and you have the sidewalk. This is only on the sidewalk. It's not doing anything to the lumen. You can work out and run a marathon. It's not going to affect you this. That's why this test is so important because they could, they could pass it. This test is such that if I put you in a treadmill, you're going right. to you're you're pass with flying colors. No scheme, yeah. And this is with doctor we did for years. Right. Don't worry about it. And guess what? I have a slide of somebody that's a little bit overweight and he goes home after a stress test and he says, honey, I passed the test with flying colors and he's eating a big burger and with French fries and the whole night. <sighs> and that is, that's what was happening before. We couldn't say you didn't pass. So you pass. Right. But the pass, you can pass this. With this blockage, you can pass. But you're growing a disease that if you're not treated, you're going to end up. And this is what we see, patients with a heart attack, a few years oh, later. Sisters. And then you have a tiny bit, like I show you that one here, uh, an additional plug. It's going to have some calcium also. Wow, but look at that. Look at that yeah. hard hat. Look at the hard hat. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's positive remodeling. The, the disease grows outside first. Wow. Thank God. Thank God. At least for a long... But the problem is this. If this degenerates with a, uh, a lipid-rich core inside... Right, right. This kind of lesions could end up with a heart attack. So I stabilize that. Totally. That, that's 100% stable. Totally. And you have more calcium because you stabilize. Is my calcium score up here somewhere? No. I, I measure it's, it's 68. I measure it in the CTA. Wow. When you get a report, CTA is going to say your calcium score. It's 68. All the patients, 68. But, but so we, it's we, higher than it ever was. What the, so I think the calcium scores are wrong. They're all over the place. The problem is that they, some of the places, they, they're not even a doctor involved. They, they have the machines really measuring that they right, can right. measure. There's no standardization in some of the places. Wow. But the fact that you have 68 is not bad because that you have stabilized. It's hard. Plus. Right, it's stable. But wow. So it's when people are in statins, I see higher calcium scores with time. I said, statins are doing the job. You're stabilizing, you're calcifying right. the plaque that right. it's initially being non-calcified. So that's the... that's the. Can, can you believe in, in delipification? De de Do you believe in that? Is it possible? You mean reversal? Yeah. When it's non-calcified plaque, I believe that the data is leaning towards plaque reduction and the diminishing the, the amount of stenosis in certain cases. It's early yet but the data is going into that direction. That's possibility. So some people, like in your case, that's why I told you, you probably, God knows what, what would have happened, what kind of stenosis would you have before if you didn't do this. But the bottom line is also that by doing this and stabilizing the plaque, you're creating more calcified plaque, which is stable plaque. Right. The data shows that when you have more calcified plaque, your risk for MI, for, for, for having a plaque disruption, is much less. That when you have more, calcium. but the problem is if you're on a, if you're on a non-contrast CT scan with just getting a calcium score and you're comparing those with or without the standardization of the therapy and the calcium score is going up, 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 up. There's a point where you don't know what's happening in the soft plaque versus your therapy. With me, it's clear that I've calcified the hell out of plaque. Absolutely, to follow up patients on therapy. Well, just with calcium score, it gets to a point that you're going to be in no man's land. You don't know where you're at. So that's why places like this, we do in CTAs with very low radiation, is the way to go, at least to have one as a baseline to know where you're going. When should I have the next, in your opinion? I would love for you to have this, let's not call it two, three years, let's do that in two years. Two so years. We two years. So Love we it. can see and we compare. The comparison will be great. Unbelievable. In the same machine, the same setting, we can sit down again and have a comparison. So PDA, good, everything? Shy. Everything Damn. is everything is normal. I only have disease, I only see disease in the in that lady. And my tech is very good. He already told me, Doc, he only has disease in that lady. 
<laughs> yeah, he's awesome. So I, 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 knew, I knew I was dealing already with... Wow. Doc, thank you so much. Listen, wow. it was a pleasure. I think it was, it was a great opportunity to deal with someone that maximized medical therapy and see in real life what this is showing us. I think, like I said, we have a lot to learn. We have a lot of things to put together. But I think if we can compare data in a reasonable amount of time, we'll be doing great service, not only to the patient, but to, to, to the knowledge in general. To treat patients. So I'll be back in two years, guys, and I'm not changing a thing. I was nervous coming in today. And um, of course, I always think I'm gonna have nothing at all. No heart plaque, everything's resorbed. Yeah. But the truth is, it doesn't work that way. There's so many moving parts, but all my therapies and all the hard work, and I hope you guys really follow this and get down here, you have to know. Because imagine what it would be if I didn't do any of this stuff. Imagine how much I'm on. You know, but I like food, right? I don't starve myself, but I don't eat badly. I don't smoke. I drink socially, and I, but I like testosterone and a little extra sometimes, Doc. I think that this this is very important, and I, I think I'm going to finish with this, is that it's real that people need to live. You cannot say, you know, we're going to lower your cholesterol, you can not eat anything and have a miserable life. I think this data will allow us to know that what you're doing is the right thing to do that will allow patients to have a decent lifestyle. Make the adjustment. very important. But you use your biohacking. It's very important. It's a pleasure, Doc. Good luck to you. Thank you. Wow, holy shit. Woo. I'm so excited for this heart scanning modern technology to look inside your heart like I did right here in Miami Beach. I have an opportunity for you guys to come right down here and get the same scan I've gotten for myself. Additionally, I'm giving six free months of the Testosteronology app membership where you can come in. You could access Ask the Doc or Ask the Testosteronologist, and you could bring this scan and all your medical questions for educational purpose only. I want you to go to testosteronology.com forward slash heart scan. Testosteronology.com forward slash heart scan. Or you can go to Testosteronology and go on the page for advanced heart scan. Let's go, guys. Don't blow this off. Calcium score is kind of in the past. This is the scan. If you want to look inside your heart like I do, and you want to stay strong and healthy, this is the test you need to get.